Today's video is a simple tutorial on how to make your own TikTok edit. So these have been going all around YouTube for some time now and I really want to share with you guys how to do it as it's a really cool thing and people just like TikTok mashups. So I'll actually post one after this video in my next video so you can see how this editing turned into an actual creation of a TikTok mashup edit. I hope that all makes sense but the apps you're going to be needing for this are iMovie, Safari and Fonto. So the first thing you want to do is go to any music platform and you want to screen record or download the specific music you want to add in your video. So it could be like SoundCloud or just YouTube. So try and find the one that you like and then save that or download it. Then go to Safari and then save your image that you want to use for your background. And I prefer it to be a plain but not so plain so you can have like stars or some vibe meme to it. That really displays TikTok if you know what I mean. But don't make it too plain that it's just like a blue background. Make sure that it's appealing and if you have a theme make sure you stick to the theme of yours. So don't make it aesthetic and then put memes all over it. So save that photo and then make sure you go into your photos and rotate it. But after you've done that, go to Fonto, press the camera button and upload your rotated photo that you should have done. So it's either now a landscape um, mode. So after you have done that, you just want to make sure you press anyone on the screen to enable the text effect. So this is really up to you of how you want to design yours. But I personally think that it would be good if you have your big title as a song name. Like the title, the song name is the big title and then you have the artist in a little subtitle. It's just, just easier because not many songs are the same, like wording. But if you search up like the song artist, you'll get all the different songs. So this is just a mini shortcut to get to your favourite song if that's one that you're looking for. But just quickly style it but make sure you, it's not rushed so it's eye-catching aesthetically pleasing and the way like you kind of want it so uh, when it comes to like the artist name um it, it's really nice to have it just in a plain font so people understand and it's kind of easier for people to navigate the the song and the artist name if they can't search up the title so that's really how you want to do this and make sure you design it to the way you want it after you have done that, you want to head over into iMovie, press the plus button and then go straight to the movie um, option and you want to upload the photo that we just saved from Fonto. So this is going to be our big cover and we're going to have our song. So if you don't like this moving feature, just click on the clip and you want to go to the Kensburn enable so it's disabled and like move it around to you like the way it is then press the plus button and then we're going to add in our music so go to the video and you would have saved the video um, that you're going to use the music the audio whether you're doing it first like that that's all good but make sure it's either like the audio is there with it so it should be in your video kind of folder so you want to try and find that because we're going to just detach the clip and we're only going to use the audio so it's a like slide audio um, feature so like when we press the play button it has a cover and just a song only so select your clip press the three dots and then go to audio only and then you want to make sure that the clip is the same duration as the audio this should look looking like this and obviously you would have your music playing through but obviously I don't want to do that because copyright but that's pretty much how you do it I hope this helped and thank you for watching